Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, the Home Cook Hero, and I'm back with a new video. Y'all, if you can hear my voice, I am a little under the weather, but that ain't gonna stop this show. Y'all, today I am making brown sugar and pineapple glazed salmon. I threw some soy sauce up in there as well with some butter, as well as some sesame oil. Y'all, this sauce really came together and this salmon was so flaky and so buttery, soft and tender. So if you wanna elevate your baked salmon game with an interesting and easy recipe, definitely check this one out, y'all. Let's go. All right, y'all, so here are the ingredients for this recipe. Very simple, not too many different ingredients, y'all. All right, so now into our cast iron skillet that's on medium heat right now. You just wanna add in a quarter stick of butter and then you wanna also add in some brown sugar. And this is the start to that sweet, sticky, brown sugar, pineapple sauce. So y'all, after that, I am going in with some soy sauce. You can use a reduced sodium if you want to, but I didn't. Um, I also really didn't season the salmon with too much salt, very, very little salt. So the soy sauce is really gonna be one of the stars of this and that'll have enough salt for the entire dish. So y'all, after the butter and the brown sugar have incorporated a little bit, I'm going in with the minced garlic as well as the pineapple juice. And if you'll notice, I let the butter and the brown sugar combine a little bit and didn't add the garlic at that point because I didn't want the garlic to start burning or anything. This is gonna go in the oven. And so you don't already wanna start off the dish with burnt garlic. Like, I mean, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? So yeah, I just, basically I'm gonna bring this to a boil. And after I bring it to a boil, I'm gonna let it just reduce a little bit. So yeah, as you see y'all, it's been a couple minutes and the sauce is definitely starting to reduce a little bit. It's thickening up. And one little tip y'all, this sauce can really go on other types of fish. It can go on chicken if you want, it can go on ribs. You can use this sauce on all types of dishes and you can swap out the juice, the pineapple juice for orange juice or any other type of juice, any other type of like citrus juice or something like that, a little bit of lemon juice maybe, you know, do what you wanna do, you know, experiment with it. So yeah, this is just how the sauce is looking and now we are ready to go in with the salmon. So yeah, I like I said, I cut the salmon in half and I very, 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 very lightly seasoned it with some salt and pepper. I really want the sauce to be the star of this dish, but I didn't want to just place some <laughs> some unseasoned salmon into the pan. I just, I, I you know, I, I couldn't do it. I just had to, I had to season it a little bit, y'all. I had to season it a little bit. Y'all understand, I know y'all do. And y'all almost forgot to add the sesame oil. Yeah, the sesame oil definitely helps round out the flavors in this dish. You know, we have the salty from the soy sauce, we have the sweet from the pineapple juice and from the brown sugar, and the sesame oil really kind of like brings a nice earthy, kind of like nutty flavor to the dish, y'all. Definitely don't skip that if you have if you have sesame oil. So yeah, after that, I'm just going to basically start basting that salmon and you know, then after that, we're gonna be ready to put it in the oven. So yeah, I'm just, you know, lightly Based in the salmon, you'll see the garlic kind of still in there. It's definitely not burnt or anything like that, thanks to the time we put it in to the pan. And you can also add some ginger into this dish if you want to, mince it up just like we did the garlic. That would definitely help elevate this dish a little bit more. Yeah, y'all definitely do what you want to do with it. Like I said, I kind of remember my sister making this dish for us when we were younger. Uh, she's, she's younger than me, but she is a good cook. She's a really, really good cook. And I really think she made something similar to this uh, when we were younger. And that's kind of where I got the inspiration. So. Thank you, sis. So this is how it looks after about 15 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm just basting it a little bit with that sauce. That sauce is still getting thicker and more luxurious, y'all. Yes, I'm using all the adjectives today. That sauce is looking right. That sauce is looking how we want it to start looking. So yeah, I'm just basting this salmon with the sauce, y'all, and then I'm gonna place it in the oven on broil for four to five minutes. You don't wanna let it burn. So yeah, this is what it looks like after about five minutes on broil, y'all. 
this salmon came out perfect the sauce has thickened up dramatically y'all the salmon is perfectly cooked it's really literally like buttery soft y'all this salmon was so moist and it'll go great over some rice you know we have all of that sauce in there y'all this salmon was perfect and it came out so so good y'all so yeah i am just plating this salmon like i said it was it's very very buttery as you see it was almost falling apart in the pan and that's kind of how you really want it to be especially with this kind of dish and with this sauce that we have all over y'all the sauce is really seeped into the fish and it's it's really just perfect you know really couldn't ask for anything else y'all so that is all i have for y'all today i hope you really enjoyed this video like i kept saying this salmon was so good and i really enjoyed making it for y'all so yeah leave me a comment down below if you tried the recipe if you like how it looks definitely let me know down below you can like the video you can even subscribe to the channel y'all i drop videos every single week so definitely consider doing that if you enjoyed what you saw all right y'all so with that said i will see y'all in the next video later